Well, I still remember my first time cycling. I was so happy, freedom feeling like I never had before. Just the fact that even though I'm missing a leg, I can go out there and explore the world. It always gets me excited. I remember that. Jump, jump, jump. My name is Mohamed Lana. I was born and raised in Casablanca, Morocco. I was born with a birth defect. Um, I'm missing part of my right hip and uh, part of my right leg. My parents were determined to raise me like other brother and sister. They were a little bit extra tough with me because they think um, because I'm with disability, I need to study very hard to have a desk job because I couldn't do anything physical. I had the chance to have my first bike when I was 25 years old, then everything started changing. I moved here to the USA eight years ago and I started competing uh, toward the Paralympics in Rio 2016. During that process, I met a lot of uh, American uh, athletes. They were my friends, my teammates, we were training some time together, we go for camp together. After Rio 2016, where I got my bronze medal, uh, I decided to represent the USA in the next Paralympic cycle. So, uh, unfortunately, halfway through the cycle, the IPC um, decided to remove my category from Tokyo. I was already uh, made a huge commitment to the sport, to the USA team. Uh, so with my wife and a lot of advice from the triathlon teammates, we tried to come up with my strength was uh, cycling to join the uh, paracycling team and, and give it a shot. Whatever, yeah. rest, and then you'll jump on the bike again, just kind of just spin just to keep the leg warm. Um, not like a bunch, but just like a couple spin-ups. And you kind of get just some, a lot of them just for like nerves. Okay. And then as soon as we're done, we'll put you up immediately for five laps standing. Okay. Yep. Which, like 50-50? 51-50. 51-50. Yep. Yeah, so make sure that gear's on now. Put your speed? Yes, raise speed, definitely. Okay. Yeah. Paralympic sport in general, like it's very specific to their disability because it, everyone is different. We can be in the same category, but we have different setups and different uh, adaptation to our equipment. We can just go to uh, a market and buy a pair of shoes or bike. We always need to do that and adjust it to our disability. This weekend is going to be my first race uh, on the track, so um, I'm kind of uh, nervous and not nervous because it's the first race and I want to hopefully um, show that I have the talent and I have the, what it takes to, uh, to race for USA in Tokyo 2020s. When? Yesterday I was sweating, like last night. Oh really? Oh, because it's it So don't, don't get closer. Uh, hey, hey everybody. How are you? What's up, Mom? I'm gonna put my back next to you. I didn't set up yet, you know. During the process, uh, like qualifying for the Paralympics in triathlon, I was the only triathlete from Morocco, whether able body or Paralympic. And I used to go to events by myself. I used to do everything by myself. I was looking forward to that, being part of a team that travel together to an event and have all the resources that we have the coaches, the people around it. That was mo the biggest motivation for me to, to switch to the USA team. For me, when I first and tried my, my, uh, my first effort on the track, I was scared because it looks scary, the angle. But once you start doing the effort, you will feel like how fast you can go. You, feel, you will feel the speed that you can't feel in any other sports because it's a very con controlled environment and you will feel like you're really going fast. I try to remember that moment when I first uh, started cycling 
because most of the people they have this moment very early on I had it very late and it always gets me excited in general for people with disability just go out there be curious try sports just for fun uh, nobody uh, is gonna push you to be like training full-time just go it's gonna it's gonna make you very happy